first look, kind of look back when you watched the, the film from Saturday, what kind of stood out to you about the performance? Uh, I thought it was a uh, you know, much better first half. Played better football. Um, second half, more of the things that we dealt with in the first game uh, creeped in. Uh, so, you know, the battle of improving and improving to gain consistency right now is really the mission, you know, that we're on. But uh, you know, better a better game, but uh, still a lot of concerns. Coach Chizik said Demetrius McNeil did some pretty good things out there. Did he or anybody else that kind of stand out do anything that, that you saw that you liked? I thought his effort, you know, his effort on the field was special. You know, we've all got to execute better, but I thought the effort uh, that he showed out there was was outstanding. To show him pretty impassioned, you know, talk earlier, has he taken it upon himself or other seniors on that defense taken it upon themselves to? Get this thing turned around. I think I think they're better. You know, I think there's a lot of indicators that um, we want to get better, and leadership is one of those things that you have to have, especially with kind of a whole new uh, system and a, and a new uh, a new leadership style, so to speak. Uh, you know, again, it's a process, and we've got to stay on the road to getting better, and uh, we'll count on leaders like T. Bell to to help that out. As their coach, do you like seeing when the players themselves get feisty and, and take Oh, I think it's them? I think it's vitally important, you know, vitally important. And uh, you know, the more the harder you work, the more you invest as a player, the more important it becomes. So, you know, it's our responsibility to continue to work them hard, um, encourage them to prepare differently. And again, the more the more they put into it, the more important it becomes. Brown, it doesn't seem like you got to play a lot of. Press pass defense is that a, a, a result of personnel, or is that basically is that the, the way you, you normally do it? Or? Well, no, you know, again that that uh, that that always seems to be a question that comes up with defensive coaches. But uh, you know, we're not built to play a lot of press man right now, and uh, it's one of the areas that that I'll watch the one on ones again today that uh, we've got to go out and practice and we've got to get better at. Um, Again, a lot of our mission has been to, you know, cut down on big plays over our head. That was a battle a year ago. And, uh, you know, we've been able to do that in the first two games uh, in, a, in a better way, but it still, you know, it still came up, uh, you know, with one big shot on, on Saturday. But, you know, we're going to play to our players' strengths. Right now that's not one of our strengths, and uh, we'll continue to work on it, and, and hopefully you'll see more of that uh, down the line. Talk about Louisiana Monroe, what you've seen on film with their offense. A uh, high energy offense. Um, I think that they're skilled people. Uh, oh, their entire offense, I think, is excited about what they do. Um, do a good job both uh, running the football and throwing the ball, but, you know, I think their, their run game works well off of uh, off their passing game. So to speak, get into routes quickly, and they're excited about what they're doing. They got a quarterback that's, uh, you know, different. Uh, great instinct, creative. Uh, it gives them a, it gives them a chance to, to, to create big plays. Those guys up front, you, know, you talked about wanting to get those guys across the line of scrimmage and then make more plays in the backfield. Getting off blocks, is it using their hands, being more physical, kind of all of the above? Are they, or? or is that the key to, to them improving, just kind of being more physical? Using I think so. Yeah. You know, I think so. Yeah. You know, we'd like to have more production up inside in our defense. And uh, again, it's not it's not been real good the first couple of games here. And we just uh, we've got some, you know, a couple of developmental guys there that need to, you know, continue to grow in the process. And hopefully the green light goes on, you know, and and all of a sudden we see a better play. I'm confident that that'll happen. But again, we're just trying to speed that up. Speed that process up. Did you, how, do you feel, how do you feel about <coughs> your secondary right now? They're fairly fluid personnel-wise. How do you feel about them going up against a team that's going to pass 50, 60 times possible? Um, I think that uh, it'll be another great measurement and evaluation, you know, for us. We've got to, you know, we've got to be better there. And so, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a great challenge. It's a, you know, again, all three phases. Uh, secondary linebackers and defensive line.
we still have a lot of work to do, you know, to to get to where we want to go. And uh, certainly the challenge, you know, uh, you talk about them throwing the ball 67 times last game. Certainly there's a great challenge to, to the secondary. But you know, the guys up front are going to be key in that, in that too, you know. But um, we've got to get a lot better back there. Brian, you said before the season that it was going to be a, it was going to be a process and, and your, your goal was to, to, to keep getting better. Has anything happened to surprise you or has it kind of gone like you, you pretty much expected to in terms of, of, of making progress? Um, well, I, I, you know, I wanted the process to, to be faster than it has been, um, for sure. Uh, I'm not, no, I'm not surprised, uh, based on what I saw in, you know, training camp and scrimmages and, um, you know, uh, I'm not totally surprised. Um, again, my disappointment last week was, you know, you felt like you the first half indicated that, you know, there were some some good strides uh, moving forward. And then we came out the second half and looked, you know, looked a little bit like we did in the first game at times. But uh, you know, there's just there's just so much room for improvement in so many different aspects of becoming great on defense right now that it's a it's an incredible challenge. You know, and that's that's how I see it. You know, my vision obviously is going to be different than you guys or fans because you know I know the process well enough, and it just you know it's not not going to change overnight. But you know we're we are moving in the right direction. Uh, I'm excited about the challenge. You know, with the guys that you know we face every day as coaches, and they face every day as players right now. That uh, we just got to raise the bar. We've got to get better, and. Uh, you know, Saturday will be another opportunity. We yeah, talked about any personnel changes. Am I anticipating? I would say yes to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as the season moves on, I would say yes. You know, uh, it's gonna it's gonna remain uh, an evaluation process throughout the season, in my mind. And I think you'll see uh, I think you'll see different guys in there and give them opportunity and keep it competitive. I mean, we we need competition. Right here in this building, and that's uh, that's how you really can can speed the whole thing up. I guess it would be doing a good ask you to change it. No, no. We no, no. <laughs> talked about run defense. Four of your top six tacklers are in the secondary. Three of them safeties. Are you okay scheme wise with that happening? Or no. Other ways to... No. No. How, how do you Obviously not. Them? How do you keep them in the front seven? I don't know how to exactly answer that. We've got to play better. We've got to play better. Is it a tackling issue at times, or is it just gaps? Some playmaking ability, uh, you know, ability to to get off a block and make a play. You know, you got to you got to be able to do that. And I think in 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 the college game that uh, that I've experienced here in the first couple of weeks. Uh, you know, there's a there's a huge premium on defensive alignment. You know, with the way these offenses are spreading you out, you know, you you better have playmakers up in there, and, uh, and that can whip blocks and win.